As you can tell by the title of this course, this is a kind of romp through history. What are we looking at? We're looking at science. Now, science is kind of like a person. If you know something about where they've come from, who the major influences on their life has been, you're going to know a lot about who they are now and where they're going. Science in our own day is the dominant way of understanding and thinking and speaking to the questions of our own time. Every hour of our waking day, we run up against, we touch, we feel, we see the effects of science and technologies profoundly impacting our lives. Understanding the history of science is, just like a person, so important for understanding that reality now and maybe even understanding the future. This course takes us back in time to the very beginnings of Western civilization with the ancient Greeks, where they started to think about understanding nature and what that means. We go quickly through the civilizations of medieval Islam and medieval Europe, right into the beginnings of the modern period, where at Christmas time we end with perhaps the most famous historical figure of science, Isaac Newton. After Christmas, we look into the 18th and 19th centuries and we're talking about the most fundamental questions that are still going on today and still at the very heart of science. What is it that makes nature tick? Why is it that uh, we change with time? What's out there in the cosmos or in the infinite little tiny spaces inside the atom? What is it that uh, actually led to the inventions of things like x-ray machines or iPhones or the atom bomb? Right now as we're talking, we are pushing the boundaries through fields like genetics at what the human body and other organisms' bodies might be in the future. These are terrifying possibilities for the human condition, right? Understanding those possibilities is what this course is looking at as they were grounded in history and as we're moving forward in time into the future. Any student can take this course. Science students, art students, business students, management students. Because the basic questions that would take us forward into the future are ones that have been asked for a very long time. We need to get to know that person that is science through history.